Pelican is about to release 10 new amazing puzzles and here is my quick review of all 10 of them. And I'll start my review with a puzzle from a new puzzle designer. At least he's new for Pelican. His name is Jerry Sharma and he's from India. I actually know the guy. We often discuss new releases from Pelican and he's also a puzzle collector. His first puzzle ever built by Pelican is called Cerberus. It was made using four different types of wood, paduk, venge, acacia and maple. This puzzle has a shape of a cube. It is a 4x4x4 four by four by four cube. As you can see, there are a lot of openings on each side, so it's not a full cube. And this puzzle requires 35 steps to solve it, but it is a very enjoyable uh, puzzle. Even though there are quite a lot of false moves here, but still it is very enjoyable to solve. And actually, after disassembling it, you will be able to assemble it back together if you paid just a little bit of attention what you did when you took it apart. So great puzzle and a highly recommended puzzle from a new puzzle designer. The name of the next puzzle is Timbur. It was designed by Christoph Loe. This puzzle was made using four different types of wood, purple heart, paduk, venge and ash. This puzzle has seven parts, two on each side and a frame. It is a difficult puzzle. It requires 44 steps to take it apart and 44 more steps to assemble it back together and 31 steps to remove the first piece. It is quite a challenging puzzle. The pieces move quite a lot. You, For example, with some of the parts, you can do more than just the, uh, one step. You can move it two or three steps at a time and it makes it quite a challenge to understand where and how you have uh, to put one of the parts. As you can see straight from the very beginning, this piece comes out a lot and you can move right here. But what's next? You have to discover it since there are no other parts that they can move right now. The name of the next puzzle is Lucia. It was designed by Alphonse Eichmanns. This puzzle was made from Acacia. It has six parts and at first glance, it looks like a very complicated puzzle. But actually, it takes only 17 steps to take it apart, even though the number doesn't sound so difficult, but the parts are quite complicated since each piece is quite large. It is a three by three by eight voxels and usually puzzles with such big parts are extremely difficult to take apart and even more challenging to assemble it back together. But this one is a very pleasant solve and I'm pretty sure you will enjoy solving it and will be able to put it back together. The name of the next puzzle is Pina Box. It was designed by Lucy Powells. This puzzle was made using four different types of wood, Jatoba, Vengi, Babinga and Maple. This is quite an interesting puzzle. It is not a difficult one, but quite interesting. There are six parts here, six quite easy parts with quite regular shapes. If you noticed already, there are cutouts in four out of six parts, circle cutouts, and they're big enough to fit the pin. When you put the parts inside the frame, you have to put them in such a way that one of the pieces will be facing the cutout in the box, and then you will be able to put the pin through, the, through both cutouts, and only then puzzle will be solved. But that's not it. You have not only to put parts inside, but you have to put them in such a way that when the puzzle is solved and all parts are in, I'll try to show it to you now, and you put the last piece inside, oh, that doesn't fit, okay, doesn't matter. But if you put all parts inside and put the pin all the way in, then you have to flip it, and if parts are still inside, the puzzle is solved. But if they are falling out, that's not the solution, and you have to keep looking. There are a lot of ways how you can just fit parts inside and even put the pin in, but there are not so many ways when you will be able to flip the puzzle and parts will stay inside and not fall down. So great puzzle, great idea, not a very difficult one, but very pleasant to solve. The designer of the next puzzle is Pelican. They created their own puzzle. It is called Turtles. It was made using two different types of wood, Acacia and Venge. It is a kumiki type of puzzle where you have to uh, take it apart and assemble it back again. Usually these puzzles are not so difficult to solve, but they are always a very good looking puzzles. 
This one is made so well that it is quite a challenge to find the first piece that you have to remove and once you uh, will be able to take it apart you will discover a small secret inside another turtle which looks very cute. The name of the next puzzle is Umbrella. It was designed by Tamas Vanya, a puzzle designer from Hungary who designed a couple of beautiful castle puzzles which were released by Pelican last year. His new puzzle is Umbrella. It was made using two different types of wood, American Walnut and Ash. This is quite an interesting puzzle because of the interesting shape of parts. There are seven parts in this puzzle. Five of them have this shape and two have this shape. But what makes it interesting is that the middle piece is moving in both shapes. That means that you change the shape of the part here and you can change the shape of the part here. That makes it not seven but 14 different pieces since you can transform them. And next you have to fit all of them inside the frame. This is not a very difficult puzzle and there are multiple solutions here. I think that I solved this puzzle maybe like 10 times already and every time I had a different solution. Maybe now while putting everything back inside I'll find another one. I don't know. Looks like, like <laughs> no. But it's quite an interesting puzzle because of the new idea of the parts and it's a very enjoyable solve. There are 36 voxels here and the parts occupy only 35 of them. So every time you assemble the puzzle, there will be one voxel that is not occupied by parts. No, it looks like I'm not gonna be able to solve it right now. I'll do another approach. Let's see, this one goes here and this one goes here. So not as easy as I expected, but quite a fun puzzle to solve. And you can solve it again and again and every time you find a different solution. And since we are talking about Tamas Vanyo, here is his new puzzle. It is called Moving Castle. It was made using three different types of wood, acacia, American walnut and ash. There are nine parts in this puzzle. And as always, you have to arrange all nine parts in such a way that you can go from start to stop uh, using the stairs and this one is not a solution since right at the start there is a huge wall and you can't cross it. So you have to rearrange the parts in a different way. But the puzzle will come disassembled with all the parts out of the frame and your first task will be to figure out the way how to put all parts inside. And it will be quite a challenge since it is not so easy to find the correct way to fit all parts inside. I actually had a first look at this puzzle three or four months ago. I have a copy made by Tamas Vanyo. As soon as I saw this puzzle, I said that Pelican has to release this puzzle. It looks really beautiful and nice. And here we have this version of the castle from Tamas Vanyo. Great looking puzzle and quite a challenging one. Before I show you the next two puzzles, I have to apologize to my friend and a puzzle designer, Volker Latusek. All the time I was pronouncing your name incorrect, saying Volker. But my friends from Germany said that it's incorrect and I have to say Volker. I'm very sorry, From starting from today, I'm going to pronounce it correct. First out of two puzzles from Volker Latusek is called Staffenburg. This puzzle has four parts and all of them are made from Purple Heart. This puzzle is similar to a couple of other puzzles designed by Volker and made by Pelican, such as PMR, Bubble and Ronde. This puzzle has four parts, two pairs of two similar parts. The first one has notches here and here, but the second part has notches here and here on the bottom. And you have to assemble all of these parts together in such a way that you will cover all the notches and there will be no openings left. So it will be quite a challenge. Even though this puzzle, even though this puzzle has two solutions, it will be very difficult to find even one of them. And the next puzzle was also designed by Dr. Volker Latusek. It is called Tube in Cube. This puzzle has eight parts and the goal is to fit all eight of them inside the frame below two lips of the frame. I also had a chance to test a prototype of this puzzle, but Dr. Volker Latusek changed it a little bit. And before it was an open box, now the box has two lips and I guess it will be completely different now since 
in the prototype the solution wasn't that hard but this one looks extremely difficult and probably it will be similar to similar similar difficulty to euclid series or the casino puzzle as you can see we have a standard box for dr Volker latusek similar to previously mentioned puzzles and we have eight parts there are four taller parts and four smaller parts and when you put the tall part inside it goes just from the bottom to the top and it just fits perfectly and when you add more parts inside you will find that you can easily put probably all four of them then you can stick one more piece in the middle then maybe one more part and then you can't fit any other parts inside you still have two parts left so you have to find a correct way to solve the puzzle i haven't solved it yet but i believe it will be something really interesting with a nice aha moment since just by looking at the frame and the pieces i can't even imagine how to fit them inside so probably i have to find some interesting moves in order to fit all parts inside the frame and the last and the most beautiful puzzle of this release is called Imogen's Cube. It was designed by Alphonse Eichmanns. It is a huge puzzle. It has a lot of parts. You can check the pictures at Pelican's website to see the shape of all pieces. This is a difficult puzzle. It requires 59 steps to take it apart and 59 more to assemble it again and 20 steps to remove the first piece. I tried to solve this puzzle. You can probably disassemble it and then the assembling part will be just a nightmare. Since there are too many parts, it is too difficult to understand which piece goes first, which goes next, and the assembling will be almost impossible. I don't know how many people uh, in the world can actually put this puzzle back together. Probably most of the people We'll use a uh, Burr tools to assemble all parts back together, but, but it's a very beautiful puzzle. One of those puzzles that scares me a lot, but I like to have them since they are very beautiful and they usually look nice on the puzzle shelf or on your desk. And now the reason why all of you are watching this video when these puzzles will be released. The next Pelican release will happen this Friday, February 10th at 10 a.m. check time. Let me know in the comments which puzzles from this release do you want to buy. And thank you for watching. See you next time.